Okay, welcome to this video lecture on basic surveying. Today we are in module 10 and this module is about obtaining maps. If we need to purchase the map of our area, how to go about it? What is the agency in India from where we can buy the map? So this is what we are going to cover in obtaining maps. We will have only one lecture in this module. What we have done so far, as is seen in this slide, we have done all these methods and these methods so far are about making the maps. Not only making the maps, we learned the various techniques of surveying and labeling and computation of the data, adjustments of the errors. So, at the end of it, we may be able to make a map. Also, we may be able to do various other kinds of jobs which are related with the surveying. So, we have already understood what a map is, why the map is important, what all information should be there in the map. We have seen the procedures of making the maps. So, today in our this module, we are looking into this obtaining maps. We would like to cover in this, as you can see here, the survey of India organization. In India, the main organization for mapping is survey of India. We will see what this organization is, its structure and its responsibilities. We will see how we can purchase a map from survey of India. They follow a particular map numbering system. So, we will see, we will try to understand that system so that you are able to purchase a map of your area provided you know some basic things about your area. Also, one associated thing that is called map index. How to develop that index? Why it is useful? We will look into that. And finally, we will see a demonstration of a survey of India topo sheet. Well, the Survey of India organization is the main mapping or organization in India. It was set up in 1767 and it is said to be the oldest scientific organization in India. Old details of Survey of India, you can find many of the details in their website which is surveyofindia.gov.in. For this lecture, I have taken a lot of material from this site. As well as, I have taken some material from Survey of India leaflets, as you will see in this lecture. The main roles which are there with Survey of India are, number one and very important one is, all survey control, horizontal and vertical is to be done by Survey of India. So, you know, we have already discussed this. What is the vertical control? What is the horizontal control? What is the geodetic control? And this control for our country is established by Survey of India. So, if you need the coordinates of any control point, we will have to approach Survey of India for the coordinates. At the same time, they also perform geophysical surveys. Then, all mapping activities, the meaning is whether it is large scale, small scale mapping, Survey of India does all. Any development work, you know, a big project, a dam site is there for which some surveying job is to be done. So, Survey of India is the organization which is requested many times to perform those jobs also. Then, the responsibility of Survey of India is to demarcate, as we can see here, external boundaries of our country. In addition to this, it also provides training, training to its own officers, training to people from public as well as to foreigners. It does research and development also. One very important activity of Surf India right now is developing digital database. 
So they are developing the digital database at various scales as we can see here. One more job of Survey of India is prediction of tide as well as they make the tide tables as you can see here. These are very important tables for navigational activities. Well, here in this map we can see the location of Survey of India headquarter which is there in Dehradun and then the various directorates. All these are the directorates listed in Silong, Bhunesar, Hyderabad, Bangalore, all which are listed in this map. Now we come back to our own question, you know, for example, I need a map to carry out a project for this area. How should I proceed? How should I approach the Sir of India? What should I ask them? Is there any procedure for that? So we will try to see that thing now. The maps which are available from Sir of India are at various scales. As we can see here, the maps are available at 1 is to 250,000. This is a, in fact, 1 is to 250, K means the thousand here. To save space, I am using K. Similarly, 1 is to 50,000, 1 is to 25,000. At these scales, we can procure, we can buy maps from Sir of India. So the main question is, how to order these maps for our area of interest? Well, there is a document. As we can see here, if you write to Sir of India, they will post you one document, a leaflet. This is the front page of that document. And once we open this document, it has various details and how to procure a map is listed inside that. What all maps are available at what kind of scales, that is also listed there. So what we will see, we will make use of this document and the system which is given there in order to procure a map from Sir of India. Now there is one very interesting thing because in order to procure a map, we need a system in order to indicate that well, I need the map of a particular area and this system is map numbering system. So if I know the longitude and latitude of this place, this is a basic information. I can write to Sir of India, okay, I need the map of this longitude, latitude, what kind of coverage and all that. I can also write it in a better way. I can indicate that well, I need um, the map numbers, you know, from this number to that number, that kind of thing. We can give some numbers. So based on those numbers, the Sir of India can supply the maps to us. We can buy these maps going to the Sir of India offices in their sales department or we can directly write to them and get it by post. Now over here, we would like to see, as we can see in this slide, that what is the map numbering system of Sir of India? Well, look at this map here. And this is also, I have taken from the leaflet from Sir of India, the leaflet which was from Sir of India. Now in this, we can see the entire country, India. And if we are, you know, interested to procure the maps, we'll make use of a system. As we can see, the latitudes over here and the longitudes here, the entire area surrounding India has been divided in a grid. The grid is 4 degree by 4 degree. Well, what is the meaning of this 4 degree by 4 degree? In that entire area, the latitudes and the longitudes, we have made the grids of 4 degree by 4 degree. So one block is of 4 degree by 4 degree. Now we can see those blocks here. For example, this is one block, this is another block and all these blocks are 4 degree by 4 degree. 
what Survey of India has done, they have given these blocks some numbers. For example, here, this particular block, which extends from, you cannot read it, I will write it, 28 to 32 north. That is the latitude and as well as it extends here 68 to 72, 68 to 72 east. So, within this, within this extent, the number of the block which is given over here is 39. So, the very first number in the system, in the map numbering system is determined, you know, depending where my area of interest is. For example, if you see in the slide, if my area of interest is within this extent, you know, it is from 20 to 24 and as well as here 76 to 80. If my area of interest is within this extent, I will say my map will be having a number 55 or our interest block is 55. So, that is the very first number which we get from this sheet. Now, the second one, because the maps which we can procure from Surf India, they start from 1 to 250,000 scale. We can also have maps at 1 to 1 million for states, but here for the topo sheets, we are looking for a map at 1 to 250,000. So, for our area of interest, if I am going to procure a map at 1 to 250,000, what should be the number of the map? How do we find that number? This is what we are going to see now. We have already seen in our previous drawing, well, where is my area of interest? My area of interest lies within this block and we are saying that 4 degree by 4 degree block is having a number 55. Now, my area is within that. So, what we have done, this 55 as you can see here, the 55 block which is 4 degree, it starts from 20 to 24 and 76 to 80. This is 4 degree by 4 degree block and its number is 55. Now, what has been done, it has been divided in 16 further blocks as you can see here and each of these are given the names A to P as we can see. So, we have further sub blocks which are having a size of 1 degree along the longitude and 1 degree and along the latitude again 1 degree. So, this is 1 degree by 1 degree. Well, now we will see where is our area. If we know the longitude latitude of our place, I can see where my area falls. So, if my area of interest falls, let us say in this block, my area of interest is within 77 and 78 longitudes and 22 and 23 latitudes. So, my area of interest is in F block. So, what we will say, our map number is 55 F. Now, at this stage, at this stage, the map sheet will have a scale of 1 is to 250,000 as we can see over here. So, if you are interested in 1 is to 250,000 scale maps, the numbers will be like, you know, 63B, 55F or 55G, 55O, 55M or 53A, you know, any number like that indicates a scale, a scale of 1 to 250,000. So, what, what we need to do, we need to locate in which block our area of interest is and then we can order the map. Well, we might like to go in a scale which is better than this scale, 1 is to 250,000. We would like to go for example, for a scale 1 is to 50,000 because we know 
the num the you know details the information will be more in ones to fifty thousand than in ones to two hundred fifty thousand. In ones to two hundred fifty thousand, that large area is covered within that sheet. But in ones to fifty thousand, the area will be smaller. The sheet size is same. Okay, that's why our scale is ones to fifty thousand, and we'll have more details. So if you are interested in more details. We would like to go for a better scale. Now, at this scale, how to locate that? What will be the map sheet number? What is done in this case? As we saw earlier, our map sheet of interest was 55F. That's the map sheet of our interest. You know, one block here, and this block had a size of one degree by one degree. So what we do, we divide this block, as we can see here, we divide this in further parts, okay, 16 parts like that. And this is what I am doing in my next drawing here. I have divided this in further 16 parts, and I am giving them numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on up to 16. Well, now our block. That entire one, we know it. This is one degree distance, 22 to 23, as well as this is also one degree distance, 77 to 78. And in between, we have now 16 sub blocks. Again, depending upon where my area of interest is, if I know the longitude and latitude of my place, I can find well, my area of interest is between. 22 to 22 15 so that means it should be somewhere in this and it is in between in terms of the longitude 77 30 and 77 45 let us say my area of interest is within 77 degree 30 minute and 77 degree 45 minute if it is so my area of interest should be somewhere within this. So, what we find from here? We find that my area of interest is in this block. Well, what we will write now? Our sheet number will thus become 55 F by 12. As you can see, 55 F by 12. So, any sheet number like this, you know, 55 F by 12 each a sheet of 1 is to 50,000 scale. Similarly, we may have, you know, 63 B by 4. So, that is also the map sheet at 1 to 50,000 scale. So, we can determine the numbers at 1 to 50,000. Well, let us go further down. Further down means if you are looking for even better scale. Let me delete it here in order to clean it. For a better scale, what is done? This area or this particular block is divided in further four parts. Okay, because this block has a size now, as you can see here, 15 minutes in latitudes and 15 minutes in longitude. So, we have 15 minute by 15 minute sheet. What we do, this 15 minute by 15 minute, because this is 15 minutes and here also it is 15 minutes. We divide it in four parts and we give them names and w and e s w s e again depending where our area is depending the latitude and longitude if we find that our area should be within this a we give the final number to our sheet as 55 f by 12 by s w so this is the final map sheet number now, what we will do, we will see this entire process by an example. Okay? We will start from a longitude latitude and then we will follow that example so that we understand it better. And for the example, I have taken the place as IIT Kanpur. For the IIT Kanpur, you can see here the longitude is 80 degree 14.5 minutes in east and latitude is 26 
degree 30.5 minute north. Well, what we are looking for? I am looking for, let's do job is, I need to buy a map for this area, for IIT Kanpur, at a scale of 1 is to 250,000. So, what should be the map number? Okay, that's the job. So, what we will see or what we will do, very first job, we will look for this area, where this particular point, this longitude, latitude, edge, we will try to look at in our very first sheet. Okay, this sheet has 4 degree by 4 degree blocks. So, if you follow it, 80 and 14 and you know, 80 degrees and 26 degrees. This, if you go over here, 80 to 84 is this block. Okay, let me shade it. Now, this is 26 latitude. Now, where the 26 latitude will be? This is 24 and 28. So, 26 latitude will be here. Let me shade this also. So, what we find? These two, they intersect or our area of interest is within this. So, this is our area of interest. And this area of interest as written over here has a number 63. So, that is the number at a scale of, let me delete this, this is the number at a scale of, or I would not say scale, rather at 4 degree by 4 degree level, our area of interest is in 63 sheet okay, or 63 number block. Now, let us go further down. Well, because we are looking for a map sheet which is at a scale of 1 to 250,000. So, what we will do? This block 63 is being divided again as we have seen in 14 parts, sorry 16 parts A to P. Each is 1 degree by 1 degree, okay, the degree sheet. Now, in this, where our area of interest is? Our area of interest is you now 80, 14, 26, 30. So, if you see over here, 80, 14, let me shade it again. 80, 14 means it should be somewhere between these two longitudes. 26, 30, because this is 26 here, 26 degree and 30 minutes. So, it should be in between these two latitudes. So, what we find from here, our area of interest is in 63 B sheet. Well, if you are going to procure a map at 1 to 250,000 for the area where IIT Kanpur is, we will say that we need a sheet of number 63 B and the extent of this sheet is 1 degree by 1 degree. Well, we may like to purchase a map at 1 is to 50,000. Okay? So, what we will do? As we know, we would like to or rather as per the system, the way the system which we follow, we will divide our this area in further four, 16 parts. Okay, as you can see over here and these are given numbers 1, 2, up to 16 and then we will see where this longitude and latitude are. Let us do that. Okay, 1 degree by 1 degree, this is 1 degree in longitude and in latitude. Our area is 80 degree 14.5. Okay. 80 is somewhere here, 14.5 will be within this, these two longitudes. So, our area of interest should be in the shaded area. When we look at the latitude, it is 26, 30. So, 26, 30 should be 
because it is 30.5 more than 30 and less than 45. So, it should be between these two latitudes. So, area of interest should be here. So, what we get from here? We get that our, a, our area of interest is having a number 2 at this. So, what we can write? We can write that our area of interest which has an extent of you know 15 by 15, the sheet extent at 1 to 50,000 scale has a number 63 b by, it is 63 b by 2, all right. So, if we procure this sheet 63 b by 2 from Sir of India, the sheet will have a scale of 1 to 50,000 as well as the IIT Kanpur will be there inside that sheet. In a moment, we will see a demonstration of a sheet like this. That sheet is at 1 to 50,000 scale and having this number 63 b by 2. And we'll, in that sheet, we will see that IIT Kanpur is located in one corner. Well, as we know, what we do, we divide this area further because that is our area of interest. If you are looking for a better scale, what we will do in the next step, this area is divided further and given the names as NW, SW and so on. So, this is what we do now for a scale of 1 is to 25,000. Well, where our, our area of interest should be? It is 80, 14.5. So, 80 is here. This is 80. How do, how do I write this point? This I can write it at 80 degree and 7.5 minute. So, my area of interest is between these two longitudes. Uh, in terms of the latitude, it is 30.5 minutes. So, 30.5 will be somewhere here. So, what we find that our area of interest is in S E block. Well, we can give our, our area of interest the number now. So, the number will be 63 B by 2 by S E. But that so far we are in 63 B by 2. That was the sheet which was divided in further four parts. And Finally, we find that we are in this S E block, our area of interest is there, so that is the sheet number. So, for procuring a map sheet at 1 to 25,000 scale for IIT Kanpur or rather a sheet in which IIT Kanpur will be there, we will write to the Survey of India a map sheet number as 63 B by 2 by S E. Okay. So, this is what we have seen now, how to procure the maps. Okay. Many times, what we will observe that procuring a single sheet is not good enough. You know, you are working in a project and in that project, we find that, you know, your project extends or the extent of the project is more than the size of one sheet, the area covered by one sheet. So, many times what you would like to do, for example, in this case, we procured a sheet 63 B by 2 S E. Yes, IIT Kanpur is within that. Let us say, for example, if that was a seat, okay, and the IIT Kanpur is somewhere here in that seat. And if we are going to, you know, do a project where we are interested in not only in IIT Kanpur, but also in surrounding area. So, what we are interested in? We are interested in this entire area. We know where is IIT Kanpur. The IIT Kanpur is in seat, as we can see again here, IIT Kanpur is in seat 63B by 2 by SE. But our project is going or rather spilling over that sheet. So, we should know what are the adjacent seats also. Okay, I have procured this seed. Now, using this seed, I should be able to locate that in order to work in this particular area, what should be the sheet number here? What should be the sheet number here? What should be the sheet number here? So, basically, what we are looking for? We are looking for 
our main area, main seat, and what are the adjacent seats. So this kind of index, which we, we say sheet index. So we can generate the sheet index based on the system of the map numbering. If I give you any map number, for example, 63F by 2, and I ask you, okay, can we generate the sheet index for this? Well, the meaning is, the sheet number over here is 63F by 2. What is the sheet number here? 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 And all that. Can we determine that? This is important. We would need that, you know, many times. So there should be a system. There should be a way out of doing it. So we will do it for, again, the same example, IIT Kanpur. And one more interesting thing here, the sheet index can be written at each stage, at any stage. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? In the very first level of map numbering, you know, 4 degree by 4 degree blocks, if I know the IIT Kanpur is in 63 number block, I want the sheet index there itself. I know the IIT Kanpur at a scale of 1 to 250,000 is in 63B. Okay? So, for 63B being the center sheet, what are the sheets adjacent? I can create that map index. So similarly, you know what I am doing? I am creating the sheet index at 4 degree by 4 degree level, 1 degree by 1 degree level, 15 minute by 15 minute level, and half a minute by half a minute, oh, sorry, 7.5 minute by 7.5 minute level. So at each level, we can generate the sheet index. And this is what we are going to see now. Now here in this case, at a level, 4 degree by 4 degree, well, our area of interest, AOI, stands for area of interest. Our area of interest sheet number is 63. So what is the sheet index? To find the corresponding sheet index for this, this being in center and the surrounding sheet seats. You know, what, what are the sheet numbers over here? What we would do, we'll go back to our, this map. Well, 63 is here. I can see the corresponding numbers 62, 64, 71, 72, 73, 53, 54, 55 and this is what I write here 53, 54, 55, 62, 63, 64 and so on. So at this level 4 degree by 4 degree this is the sheet index we can say which gives me information what are the adjoining or adjacent sheets. Now in the next level when the scale is 1 to 250,000, our area of interest is in 63B that we have already seen. Well, 63B means it is here. The sheet or the area 63 or the block 63 is 4 degree in latitude by 4 degree in longitude. What we had done, we had divided that in 16 parts. A to P and at this scale our area of interest is in this block B. So our area of interest is 63 B. What we are looking for? I am looking for the sheets which will be surrounding this at this scale. Okay? Well directly we can see here surrounding this we should have the sheet 63 A 63E, 63F, 63G, and 63C. How about here? Okay, so what we are doing, we are developing the sheet index now. So, to develop the sheet index, I have written here, 63B is our, our area of interest. So, the adjoining sheets are these. I am writing these. Now, how to get these ones? What are these sheets? And how to arrive at there? Now, if you look here, this block is 63. What is the block on this side, on the left side of this? Because over here, there will be a block which is covering this area, you know, rest 4 degree by 4 degree here. And that block is also divided in 
16 parts A to P. So, if I look at the seat index here at 4 degree by 4 degree level, next to the 63, we have 54. Well, this 63 is as we have seen divided in 16 parts. Similarly, I will change the color. Similarly, the next seat is also divided in 16 parts. Okay, as you can see, and the names which are given to these parts are A to P. So, we have A, B, C, D. Similarly, we will have M, N, O, P. So, corresponding to our area of interest, because our area of interest is this 63 B, this one and all these they form the seat index. So, in order to complete the seat index, I need this number, this number, and this number also. So, what these numbers will be? These will be 54 M N O because M N O the division is same. So, the sheet index will finally look like this 54 M, 54 N, 54 O. So, this is the final sheet index for 63 B at a scale because these numbers they indicate the scale is 1 to 250,000. Well, we go further because we know that our area of interest at this scale is in this sheet 63 B by 2 and we are looking to make sheet index for this sheet 63 B by 2. So, 63 B as we can see, let me clean this, our 63 B is the block here. Okay? Now, this block we know it is further divided in sixteen parts which are numbered one to sixteen. Alright? So this is what is happening here. Sixty three B which is one degree, one degree here and one degree here, six twenty six to twenty seven. This is divided in sixteen and our area of interest is 63 B by 2. So, our area of interest is in this block. Now, what is the sheet index for this? Obviously, the sheet index will include these sheets, okay, because this is our area of interest. So, these will this will include these sheets and so, we make the sheet index and we write it here. 63 B by 2 area of interest, this one is 63 B by 1, 63 B by 5. So, this is what we are writing 63 B by 1, 63 B by 5, B by 6, B by 7, B by 3. Now, how about here? As in the previous case, we are looking here that what these sheets will be, what will be the number here, what will be the number here, what will be the number here in order to complete the sheet index. So, what is the next block? The block corresponding to 63 B by 2 that is 54 n. Like this 63 b was divided in 12 sorry in 16 parts, the 63 sorry 54 n is also divided in 16 parts. Our area of interest is here. We already know these numbers. We are interested in knowing these numbers. So, what these numbers will be? These numbers will be obviously 54 n by 13 because this will be 13, 14, 15 and 16. You know, as you can see 13, 14, 15 and 16. So, 54 n by 13, 54 n by 14, 54 n by 15. So, the final sheet index will look like this. For our area of interest, that is the area of interest these are the sheets which surround it. So, by doing this, you know, if our project as I was saying, if our project extends our area of interest, we had a project here. For example, 
there is a road which is coming up. So, in order to know what are the other sheets which surround this, we will procure this sheet, this sheet and this sheet as well as this one. So, we need to make the sheet index in all these cases. Now, if you go one step down further, means at once to 25,000 scale. Okay, here our area of interest sheet is 63B by 2 SE. Now, we are looking for a sheet index for this sheet. We know that as we can see in the previous one, our area of interest was 63B by 2 which is here and the size of this block is 15 minutes in latitude and 15 minutes in longitude and we know that in our next level this is further divided in four parts okay so this the same thing is happening here this 15 minutes 15 minutes being divided in four parts and our area of interest is in SE block. So, our area of interest is here. Now, what should be the sheet index? Obviously, this will form the sheet index, this will also be a sheet, this will be the another sheet. Now, we are looking for what will be the sheet number here, 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 here as well as here in order to complete the sheet index. Well, so what we do corresponding to this area of interest we write these sheet numbers first. So, for our area of interest, we will write the sheet numbers which are known to us. For example, this is 63B by 2 and E because this is 63B by 2 and E and over here. Well, what will the sheet, in, sheet number here and here? If you look at the sheet index, at a level of 1 to 50,000, that is the sheet index. Each of these sheets are being divided in four parts, is not it, for the next level. Our area of interest is here. So, what are the sheets which are adjacent to it? The sheets which are adjacent to this are 1 here, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. So, using by making use of this sheet index, we can very easily find their numbers. You know the number over here should be 63 B by 6 and W. Okay, so, that is what we write here 63 B by 6 and W. The number here should be 63 B by 6 by S W. So, this is also we are writing 63 B by 6 S W. Down here, you know this particular block over here, what should be this? It is as you can see here 63 B by 7 and this is N W. So, we write the same thing 63 B by 7 and W. And similarly for this and this is how we complete the sheet index. So, this is the sheet index at a scale of 1 to 25,000 for a sheet number 63B by 2 by SE. Okay? So, what we have seen? We have seen so far, if we know the latitude longitude of a place. So, so far I was taking a point it could be an extent also, you know, a polygon. And we want to see what all sheets will cover that polygon. So, that can be also done. So, right now in our example, we saw for one point. Okay, at any scale, whether 25,000, 50,000, 250,000, what is the sheet which will cover that area or that point? So, that is the sheet which we will procure from Sarov India. As well as we have seen, because many times, our project may be big enough, big and a single sheet will not do or if we have a single sheet, we want to know what is the sheet on top of it, behind, no, on the bottom of it, on this side and this side and this also can be done by developing the sheet index. 
So the mapping numbering system which we saw in this lecture is the one which is being used by Sir of India. Similarly, there are other mapping system numbers also at international, international level. The basic philosophy for all these is absolutely same. Yes, they may begin with starting different numbers. They may have the starting blocks of 4 degree by 6 degree. Okay? They may have a different way of giving the numbers. But the basic philosophy, how these numbers are actually given, how the sheet index is generated is same. Okay, now what we'll do, we'll have a demonstration on Saro of India map sheet, the sheets which we procure from Saro of India. You know, we can say topographical maps or topo sheets or map sheets. What all things are there in a map sheet? What is the format? What is, you know, how the various things are arranged in that? This is what we would like to see that. Now over here, we can see the map sheet. This map sheet is at a scale of 1 to 50,000. And this map, ha map sheet has a number 63B by 2, which we used in our map, map numbering exercise. So the IIT Kanpur is somewhere in this sheet. Okay. Now if we follow each and every th thing in this sheet, one by one, we'll start from one corner and we'll follow the things the way they are listed here. All right. As far the details are concerned, you can look at the map. The map has various details. Over here, we have river Ganges. So this is the river Ganges. All right. Then we have this particular line here, which you can see in red color, is GT Road. As you can see, also written over here, is Grand Trunk Road. All right. Then we have some villages and so on. Similarly, we have a canal. This is Lower Ganga Canal. So, so on. Various details are listed there in the map. It may not be very clear right now in this video screen, but I will advise you to purchase the maps or go to your laboratory or somewhere where you can have a map. And in that map, look for the details. What all details are there? What all things are plotted there? Okay. We also have in this map the contour lines. We have already discussed what are the contours. So those contour lines, they indicate the elevation of various places. Now, looking at various things, we'll start from this corner here. What we see, 80, 0. So this is the value of longitude. 26, 45, that's the value of latitude here. Okay, this latitude, and that's the longitude. Over here, we find Kanpur and Unnao district because this, these are the areas which are covered by this map. Then, over here, we can see surveyed 1974-75. That means this map was made in 1974-75. This is for the state of Uttar Pradesh. Further, as you can see, along the longitudes, because this map covers an extent of 15 minutes by 15 minutes. This entire sheet has been divided in 5 minute by 5 minute blocks. So there is a 5 minute block here and this way, if you go down. So this block, for example, this very first block is 5 minute by 5 minutes. Similarly, we have some more blocks. So the longitude of this place is 80 degree 5 minutes. Over here, the longitude of this line here is 80 degree 10 minutes. So we have these lines, you know, division of these maps by these longitudes. It helps to understand the map. It helps to locate the longitude and latitudes of various places. Well, if you go further here, over here is written, if you can see it on your video screen, magnetic variation from true north about 1 by 4 degree west in 1970. When we are talking about the magnetic meridian and the you know, true, 
true meridian, then we talked about this variation. So in 1970, in, at this place, it is 1 by 4 towards west. Further, at this corner here, this map, we have written here India, refer to this map as 1 is to 50,000, the scale of the map. It is sheet 63B by 2 and the first edition. This sheet number is also listed here because sheet number is very important. So we should know what this, what is the sheet number of this map sheet. Okay. If you go down now, again we will see some divisions, you know, for those blocks, 5 minutes by 5 minutes. So these are the lines along latitude. We go further down, another line at 35 minutes. We go further down, another line at 2630. So that's the starting of the map. So 2630 here is the latitude of this line, while the longitude, as we know, is 80 degree 15 minutes. Now somewhere here, as you can see, is the IIT Kanpur campus. So if, because right now we are working in a sheet, which is at 1 is to 50,000 scale, having a number 63B by 2, in that sheet IIT Kanpur is here. If we are going to procure a map sheet covering IIT Kanpur at 1 is to 25,000, what will happen? This entire sheet of 1 is to 50,000 will be divided in four parts. So this part will be in SE block. Well, we go further down, over here. This is the legend. Legend means it shows you the various details which are there in the map. For example, how to denote towns or villages, how to denote the herds, because a map is representation of the ground. So once we are looking for the representation, whatever is there in the nature earth, we have to represent it on the surface, on the sheet. So we make use of the symbols. So those symbols are shown here with their meaning. You know, each of these, for example, for the temple, for mosque, for any other building. We go further here. It shows us the administrative index means what are the districts which are being covered, which are covered by this map sheet. It is here Kanpur and Unnao. Well, now we would like to see this particular block here. Now, in this particular block, we have number one, the important thing, a graphical scale. You can see here, this line is a graphical scale. We know the importance of the graphical scale. This representative factor, 1 is to 50,000, is not always good enough in order to measure the distances on the map because the map might have shrunk or expanded because of whatever the region. But the graphical scale can still be used. So because of that purpose, we have the graphical scale here. Similarly, when this map was produced, who was the Surveyor General of India? Because the map is produced under the direction of Survey General of India. So, the name of the Survey General of India is also written there. Finally, some more fine details are there. Then, next to that, as we have seen, this is the sheet index. So, the sheet index is also available in the map sheet. Corresponding to our area of interest, 63B by 2, there are other sheets which surround it. Then, some more symbols or the legend here. Okay. Again, in addition to one, you know, this scale and other things written elsewhere, we have also these map number and the sheet written, he, written over here. Because the way we keep these maps folded at some time, you know, it should be possible for us to see as quickly as possible the scale as well as the sheet number. So that is why it is written at two corners. So what we have seen, we have seen a demonstration on the topo sheet, which we procured from Sir of India. Well, in order to understand it properly, I would advise you that you should procure one topo sheet from whichever the source and start looking at the details because we went through all the details very quickly. You have to read each and every detail there, understand the thing. 
understand the legend whenever you are going to make a map make use of the legend which is there because this is a standard legend not only reading the map the important thing is taking a map going in the field with that and you know locating the various details which are shown in the map there in the field and seeing that you know how update the map is are there the details which are there in the ground but not on the map that means the map needs updation okay so playing with the map using the map in the field making use of that it's very important and very interesting exercise so please do that sometime in your laboratory exercises there in the field so we finish our this video lecture here in which we covered the survey of india organization if you want to procure the maps from survey of india how to procure what is the map numbering system how do we make the sheet indexes and then finally we saw a survey topo sheet thank you